what do these three letters T, N and M stand for? T is for the tumor size, N stands for the nodal status and these are the lymph nodes in the close vicinity of the tumor to which a tumor spreads as a first relay and M stands for metastasis which means the spread of the tumor to distant areas in the body system. How this evolved and what's the importance of this staging system? Whenever a tumor evolves, it starts as a tiny focus which is microscopic to begin with and as the cells divide, these cells form a cluster of cells which eventually becomes a defined and a measurable tumor in that particular organ. But the cells have the propensity to spread to the nearby lymph nodal areas or into the distant areas through the bloodstream. So therefore, a tumor can present in three ramifications. A at the local site, which means the T size, that the tumor size. B, it could be a combination of the local tumor and the associated lymph nodes in the regional areas, which becomes the T and N. And the third is, if at all the tumor is spread to distant areas, it becomes an M1. That means the tumor is already spread to a distant organ and completes the T and M acronym. Obviously, when we are talking of a primary tumor in one organ area and the spread of this to either the lymph nodes or to the other distant organs in the body system, so therefore we need to measure each one of them. In superficial tumors, we could measure the tumor by putting a caliper or, or doing a measurement by a uh, measuring tape. But of course, the lymph nodes and the distant areas, they could be uh, hidden in the body system and we need some sort of an imaging and the imaging could be x-rays, ultrasound, it could be uh, MRI scan, CT scans or a whole body PET scan. So it's a combination of different uh, parameters, the clinical examination, one, the doing the scans to understand the size of the lymph node in the regional areas or the rest of the body system. So it's a combination of more than one parameters. So TNM staging is important to put a final stage to the tumor. Generally, if the tumor is confined to an organ system, it is generally not always though, but would be a stage one or stage two tumor. Once it spreads to the regional areas, this generally is scored as a two or a three and sometimes even stage four disease. But if the tumor spreads to distant areas, which is the M1 tumor, then most of the times this becomes a stage 4 type of a tumor. So therefore, the TNM is calculated and then a stage grouping based on the TNM classification is brought about uh, based on, as I said, the tumor size, node involvement or the presence or absence of metastasis in the distant organs. Obviously, when I am talking about the cancers which are to be measured, these cancers are of the organ specific cancers, lung, liver, stomach and, and variety of these organs. But the cancers of the lymphatic system or the blood system are generally more in a liquid phase and therefore these cells are traveling throughout the body system. They are not generally staged by the TNM because they don't form discrete measurable tumors in the body system. So the, the staging system is different for the some of the cancers which are more in the liquid phase. But obviously the TNM is more relevant for the organ specific tumors. <laughs>